Now, I know a lot of you are excited to see what bike I got because Taiwan makes all our fixed gears, right? But I feel, I feel like we need, to, we need to take the expectations down a notch. It's a nice bike, don't get me wrong, but I have a budget too. And also, there's only so many 58 centimeter choices in Taiwan. Here's my bike. My new bike for my stay in Taiwan is the one, the only, Loop Pista. Never heard of it? Me neither because it's only available in Asia. It doesn't give me much street cred here, but once I bring this mild cat of a bike back to the States, or rather, if, I'll have the most moderately interesting bike on the block. Like any self-respecting entry-level fixed gear, I got to choose the colors of all the components from an exciting array of options, including black and silver. Luckily, this loop isn't my first fixed gear rodeo, and I kept the build simple, but with class. The 4130 Cromoly frame set rides exactly how you expect it to, but not everything about this bike is vanilla. At least in the West. The head badge will inspire people to say, huh, never heard of it. And the L's in the track ends at least try to make this frame set special. And the integrated seat binder. I'll just say, yeah, it's there. But my favorite thing about this frame set is the one inch head tube with a threaded headset. It keeps the bike looking classy, but more importantly, it distracts from the fact that it comes with a unicrown fork. I swapped out the stock drop bars for alter risers for better visibility and the dense Taipei traffic in tight alleyways. And your favorite Taiwanese bike shop owner, as seen on my channel, hit me with the homie hookup and upgraded the stock stem to a matching alter stem. And yes, that is a front break because firstly, I don't give a f about street cred, and secondly, I'm not going to be that fixifu that needs to replace his rear tire every time he descends a mountain. Moving on back, I went with a brown loop saddle because the saddle needs to match the grips if you know what I mean. Down to the pedals, I've upgraded to MKS GR10s with HTT toe clips and straps. For extra pedaling efficiency and for seldom whipping out skids in case I'm feeling particularly rowdy. We have the stock 130 BCD loop crank set which are indeed quite shiny. Are they the stiffest? No. Does it make a huge difference? No. Do they scratch easily? You bet. And with the spinny 4617 gear ratio, you better believe that I didn't skimp out on the skid patches. For the wheels, I had to make a tough call. It was down between a black wheel set or one yellow and one polka dot wheel. I think I made the right decision. And of course, these rims are laced to a pair of low flange sealed bearing hubs. The Loop Pista is a solid entry level fixed gear and it rides exactly how you expect it to. And as it turns out, entry level is good enough for me to want to hop on it and rack up the miles. Or kilometers. And of course, I got my new bike from my new bike buddies. Pedal, pedal pals, bike buddy. Over at Faith Gear. This moment is long overdue. about to take my new steed out on its maiden voyage and guess who offered in the kindness of their heart to bike me back to my place or at least part way <laughs> yes <laughs> I'll see you Saturday. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Between you and me, this was actually my first complete bike purchase that I've done at a bike shop. I'm always advocating that if you have a good bike shop that you can get your fixed gear from, that you go to them, even if you have to spend a little extra more money. I've known why, but now I understand why. This bike buying process was just so simple and it was an absolute pleasure for me. They gave me my first proper fit, which I could have done by myself, but they did it in like 30 minutes and really dialed my bike in, which 
would have taken me about a week of constant adjustments. On top of that, they gave me some free stuff, which was really nice of them, and I really appreciate that. But by far the best thing about going to a bike shop is meeting really cool people and immediately getting connected with the fixed gear scene. After I got my bike, they invited me out to a night ride the following weekend. It was a ton of fun and I don't regret it, but it could have gone better. So right now it's about nine o'clock on a Saturday night and usually I'm in bed at this time. But Saturday nights are meant for making unwise decisions. And tonight at 10 o'clock, I'm going on a group ride with the Faith Gear crew. Hal Shum, the owner of Faith Gear, he said that we could go all night, we'll ride until we can't ride anymore. This bad decision to go on this group ride tonight is particularly a problem because, well, I'm working on this video and my goal is to get it out by Sunday afternoon. Normally, this would still be plenty of time to get this video out, but, but, bad decision number two. Sunday morning at six o'clock, I'm meeting up with a local and his uncle, and I'm going fixed climbing in the mountains, meaning the only time that I have to finish this video is at night after the ride. Like, sometimes you know, you, you know, you see it, you're making the bad decision, and then you do it anyway, because you just gotta be reasonably dangerous. You know, live on the edge, dance in the shower. Tonight, I'm dancing in the shower. Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be so dead this week. So far the riding here has been excellent. It's very different than riding in the US. The flow of traffic is totally different and it's like I have to relearn a whole new set of rules. There's just one really big problem though. I forgot to turn on my Strava, which means that this ride never happened. So I have approximately zero hours of sleep, and I'm here with Ken. Yeah. And where are we going, Ken? It's a mountain, and it's called Mao, it's like Mao Kong. Yeah, it's not so steep, hopefully you can get it. You think I could do it even on zero yeah, hours yeah, of sleep? Yeah, yeah, I think All right, so. that's good to hear. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> That was actually the rudest person I've ever seen here. <laughs> How was the ride up for you two? <laughs> yeah, 
it's okay. Pretty tough, huh? Yeah. Uh, it was it was kind of brutal for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, so the moral of the story is. Don't get too excited when you buy your fixed gear, then go on a late night fixed gear ride, to then go climbing in the mountains with roadies on zero hours of sleep. But you probably already knew that. I sure as hell do now.